Right guys, I'm in the Dragonfly Alpha and today we're looking at what could be the most important thing you could be doing right now if you want to make huge amounts of gold when the expansion releases. Now importantly, to get us started, this is Alpha of course, so that means everything here could change, but I have a feeling this particular thing I'm going to talk about today is going to be staying as it is, so let's get into it. What you are seeing at the moment is me comparing two characters who have identical progression. They are both capped on Dragonflight Blacksmithing skill and have exactly the same allocation of specialization skill points. In Dragonflight, when you go to craft, you're going to see something like this. We have recipe difficulty, crafting skill, inspiration, and resourcefulness. Now resourcefulness is basically a chance to use reduced materials when crafting. This will be nice to increase profit margins, but not something you really want to worry about too much right at the start of an expansion. Inspiration is basically a chance to tighten forge your craft and create it at much higher quality than you usually would. Now this is good, but it's unreliable, and we all know if you want to be selling well, you need to be reliably creating the highest item level gear or the potion that gives you the most DPS, etc. Inspiration seems fine to me, but I feel like crafting skill is where we should really be concentrating our efforts if we really want to make loads of gold. Now you can see on this screenshot it says, with current recipe difficulty, reaching crafting skill 225 to guarantee a higher quality craft. The higher you get your crafting skill, the higher guaranteed quality you have on what you produce and the more gold you'll make. Now there are various ways you can increase your crafting skill. You get a permanent increase of one every time you gain a profession level and you also get bonuses to it from specialization points that you will earn over time. You can also use better materials or finishing regions to boost your crafting skill for that particular item and help guaranteed higher quality on what you do craft. If you are paying attention to the video, you'll notice that despite these two blacksmiths having identical progression, one has a higher crafting skill than the other. This is because in the Dragonfly Alpha, the amount of crafting skill points you get from your profession skill level is not capped at 100, which is the highest skill you can achieve. Basically, any race that has a profession bonus not only has a much easier time leveling, but also has a permanent crafting skill bonus. And as we have seen, that is what's crucial in making the highest possible level crafts. At this point, I feel it'd be fair for most people to say that it is only 10 crafting skill in this particular example, and these late game crafts are needing 300 skill for many of them, so it's barely any difference. In some ways, this is right, and once you get to a point where your whole profession specialization tree is unlocked and you can craft everything at max level, then it really won't make any difference. The problem is, once you reach that stage, then there isn't any profit in anything anymore. If you're thinking about gold making, then you need to be in early and be one of the first producing the highest item level gear, the highest DPS pots, or whatever. At the moment on the Alpha, I could only find one daily profession quest that increases your profession specialization points and therefore your crafting skill. Now this is really early on in development, but it looks like you can't just bypass this with gold and it's going to be time gated to some degree. This is fantastic for those that are willing to put in the effort to have the right race with the right bonuses on your various crafters as you have a permanent lead on your competition that they can do absolutely nothing about. Assuming things stayed the same and we only got this one daily which currently rewards free profession specialization points then you would probably be around three days ahead of your competition. For example if you and your competition have been rushing towards trying to produce the highest quality DPS potion possible once you unlocked it you would have around three days to sell it like crazy before anyone else without the racial bonus would be able to do the same with how things currently set up on the alpha. Like I said, this is the start of Alpha, anything could change, but this is looking like a promising way that you can get ahead of your competition and make a lot more gold come Dragonflight.